Hi guys, Showmaker here playing City Skylines, and as you see, my city continues to expand ever so slowly. But in fact, right now it's actually decreasing in population, around right negative 13, and it's a weekly change. Uh, so I'm gonna spend this time fixing up my city, uh, even more, of course, than before. Uh, you know, I have spaces for people to move into, but there's no active demand to actually move into my city for anything but industrial zones. The reason why I have such a huge industrial demand is because I have lots of train stations and cargo harbors and all these sort of services that, uh, you know, are really good for uh, industrial areas. And of course, the most important one is uh, fire protection. And every single area has pretty good fire protection, except for maybe over here. So we'll put one teeny tiny fire station over here. So I'm just going to continue... Um, sliding through here but uh, my residential there's no demand for but at the same time I also don't really have enough workers for most of these workplaces I mean right here that's uh, resources I think yeah none of raw materials but a lot of these places yeah don't have enough workers so we have to get more people moving in and we need to get more industry here uh, so I'm gonna do a small thing for industry just tiny things you don't need a ton of in industry here Put one little road down here, and I will be building industry along the harbor way. That's not too bad, is it? All right, now we need to get people moving back in. Now, people dying becomes a pretty big problem. Now, for me to get the one, this one here, I need, or is it this one? This one here, I need seven full cemeteries, so that's not too bad to do. And there are different tiers of these things you can add on, uh, which all lead into very specific projects, which are here, but I haven't unlocked yet. It takes a while to unlock those, so... Yeah, that. Uh, so I was going to resolve our dead bodies problem. So every time I put down one of these cemeteries, uh, people really like that. I'm going to have at least one cemetery per neighborhood. And that will fix our dead bodies problem, most indefinitely. And it's also going to increase happiness quite a bit. And uh, the more dead bodies we pick up, the better it'll be for people. Now currently I have a pretty massive negative drop here, so I have other problems I have to figure out. Like this area here, um, the farmer's division probably lacks a lot of services, not going to lie. In fact, this one has a lot of dead bodies pick up, so I'm going to put a, um, there is one crematorium here, but I need to get another one squeezed in somewhere. So like right here, just so we can kind of cover that area. Uh, it's not a residential neighborhood. This one doesn't have the honorary graveyard. So place one in place. And up here in Hong Kong, we have a graveyard. Okay. So that's all my graveyards. I'm going to be needing to get uh, a few more crematoriums. So this area definitely needs a crematorium. Crematory, I don't know. Oh, we have disconnected power somewhere. Where, oh where? Uh, nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere. Okay, well. Get this down here. Now let's look at our education levels. Elementary, we could probably fit a few more people in. So let's get another school down, shall we? You want to get that to the green. And the nicer you make these neighborhoods, the more likely people are to move into them. For example, this place here um, you know, has access to school over here, but not over here. Oh, Dead End doesn't even have a school. That's why nobody wants to live in here. And that has two schools. I could move one of these schools. Two over here. And that'll make it more uh, desirable. Where else do we need schools at? Oh my god, look how hyper on education the education expresses. Okay, we'll add in another school here. This place needs it. And as you can see, the number of people leaving the city is shrinking ever so steadily. Here's another place with uh, 
total lack of education. Hong Kong. Okay, uh... Now let's speed this up so that people can collect all these dead bodies, because the dead bodies is pretty well driving people away. Uh, how's our garbage collection doing? Not so hot, actually, so I'm going to need to get... Um, you know, a few more of these places. And I actually want to phase out my dumps completely. So I'm going to start emptying them again. With the intentions of, of just deleting them. Because I don't need them anymore. See this one here? Say goodbye to my little friend. Yes, I want to destroy that structure. And we'll replace that one structure with another two... Uh, of these and, and the incinerator capacity is not the same thing as the number of trucks uh, servicing the neighborhood and as you can see over here this place has quite a bit of problem so with the farm bill covering that hopefully that will fix that uh, actually even up here is pretty nasty uh, so with all these new services we're adding suddenly people are starting to return to the city uh, and I don't actually have a lot of cops in this city uh, which isn't a terrible thing, because my crime rate is not particularly high, but the more cops I add, the, obviously the better it will be. So the Farmer's District has zero cops. Not one. So we're going to put police station here. Mm, nice cop-friendly neighborhood. This one has one. It just went brown for some reason. This is a pretty crime-high neighborhood, so I can build a police station here. And that should have a pretty positive effect. Uh, anywhere else particularly crime heavy? You know, I have no police down here at all. So I'll put one there. And it looks like over here is pretty uh, crime heavy. So I'll put one over here as well. Now Tokyo Town, one of my most urbanized areas, will have two of these massively big police stations. Now fire protection, yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, that's a different issue altogether. Um, a lot of these are actually very brown. Hmm, it's not good. So tax revenues are starting to swell up. Let's look at our taxing situation. I have my industry at 4%. They don't really generate much tax anyway. I only really need to worry about these guys. My high density residential. They seem to be my big tax source here. And, um, you know, I have none of these left, so I'm going to just drop that down to nothing. And I don't have a lot of these left. They're only worth 211 bucks. So I'll make them uh, pretty low tax. Supporting local business. And once again, we're kind of stagnating again. So I need to... What was it? It wasn't healthcare. Because healthcare has always been pretty well fine for the city. Um, it's always been a problem with the fire trucks. So we need people moving in. That's a big, big, big concern. We need to increase our demand for other things. So we need to see cheaper ones in these areas, because they're only small areas that really need a lot of fire protection. Teensy tiny small areas, like these little you know, circles of doom and gloom. That's Farmville. Uh, can I wonder if I can get fire protection up with just this? No, I need two of them actually. That's unfortunate. Okay, now I gotta wait for money. I have another one here in the cornfields, but I yeah, I gotta be focusing on our residential properties. See this one here? Like this is a stupid area for me to to uh, have any kind of residences at because um, or any kind of buildings at because yeah, I mean that's not even being protected. So I'm actually gonna dezone. Geez, don't make me manually dezone this. There we go. And dezone this particular off ramp here. I mean, I'm going to be destroying most of this off ramp anyway, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to get rid of that because that's um, not particularly good. And garbage is still supposedly a problem. And this area here actually does service that, so once I get 30 grand. Shouldn't take too long, considering that I'm now generating 13822 after our latest tax increases. Shouldn't be too far. Now I do have um, 
facilities over here that I should be emptying. And all this garbage that I'm collecting will be power generated. Mm -mm, power generated. Space already occupied. That would be the, the fire truck, I, I assume. Now, um, can I expand our transit system? Any? I can cut it through the middle here. Like I can make. That's gonna be quite expensive though. In Copper Town, I can expand down to the south, and then Liberty Town, I can expand. Yeah, I can expand my train system quite a bit actually. Um, and I can expand my buses too. I mean, they're not completely off the wall just yet. Like for example. Just create these mini bus routes to uh, to link up with our transit system, so that more people use our transit system and more people use our bus. And that's not a bad goal, I don't think. And everyone's always happy when you set up these kind of bus routes. Yeah, just in case anyone needs to go to work at that particular location. So that's one done. And we'll set up a little bus station. This will be my crappy bus route because this is a part of the city that gets hyper 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 congested. This oil town of, of sorts. Just going to all the local businesses. around here and into here to spin around oh and then we just connect it in there lumber yard I don't think this place is really big enough for a uh, bus route plus I have some destroyed properties here that I have to worry about. Okay, one thing I haven't considered about is uh, property of value. So Education Express, we could use slide over here, maybe a carousel here. They're much smaller, so they look nicer. Farmville's fine. Uh, this place needs a little bit more uh, urban renewal. Except there's a bouncy castle here. And over here, and even though I'm, though I'm destroying buildings, I'm not uh, I'm not destroying a ton of population. This will overall increase population, I believe. Poor dump fill. Okay, carousel again. Actually, let's get the big one because we have lots of space there. There is a pretty is that the big one? Or this one? The big, that's the big one. There we go. Put the big one in there. And another carousel over this away. I mean, uh, the reason why this is so bad is because these make noise. So there we go. We've increased property values. Still not seeing my population go up by any substantial margins. That's sad. Okay. Can I fit the big park in here somewhere? I can, but it takes up a lot of roadway. Maybe I'll just make a smaller one here. New plaza's looking really sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, that's great. You're an idiot. Another one here to help increase the values on this side. Wow, it barely increases values over here. Barely. Anyways, we've invested a ton in services here. Um, let's get... Oops. 
I'm going to need a reroute cutting across this away. Not enough monies. And here I thought I was generating a fortune. That's still better than when I uh, first started the game. I mean, my first start of the game I was buying like little itty bit by little itty bit. Now I can uh, grab giant pieces at once, which is great. Okay. And this will be... Hmm. Did I lay down crappy? Yeah, I did actually lay down some pretty crappy uh, commercial zones here. Oopsie daisy, I guess. I'll keep them. They have a low tax rate. They don't really generate a lot of revenue for me, but I'll keep them. These. And I'll be, I'll be expanding this quite a bit, but I, I just need to make spaces for people to actually move into as I'm more or less demolishing the city. Uh, so... Ironically, these incinerators are huge fire risks. I don't know if that's irony. Probably obvious in this knee. I don't know. Um, build one of these. Now, garbage is piling up, but where is it piling up? See, uh, there's a bit of a risk for me for these inner city areas. Uh, they're really, really difficult to, uh, to maintain. So what I might do is give this area its own personal incinerator. And I might do the same thing over here, too. I'll just... Make an off-road, make an incinerator off to the side, and then it has its own incinerator, which will provide a lot more services. So I'll do that one second. This one, dump build, it's going to be a lot easier to do. So I can use a two-way gravel road, or a service road. And I'm going to make it right here. And I'll go all the way over here. Not quite touch. And I'll put in. I have to wait for the incinerator to be affordable, of course. I don't even have incinerators in a lumber yard, I don't think. Should be a few more ticks away, and I'll be able to afford that. And that will create a little um, uh, service area for for dump mill, so I can put all these uh, unmentionables on this dirt road. There we go. And that will support at least dump mill and aquifer plaza, probably. Uh, industrial way. Okay, looks like the biggest issue might be the fact that dead bodies are not getting picked up very quickly. There's three dead bodies here, and one burnt down building. So I'm going to have to put another uh, crematorium here to speedily pick these things up. So you have a graveyard, you have a uh, crematorium, so now we have to have a third crematorium. And these are not pricey. 25 thousand dollars per all for this massive expensive city poor guys no one's picking up their garbage I'm pretty sure I built crematoriums over here like that's a crematorium I'm pretty sure now let's well while I'm waiting for money to come up what I can do is Demolish abandoned buildings, which we have a lot in the city. Well, not a lot, but a nice bit of abandoned houses. And I'm assuming people are abandoning these because of, uh, you know, dead bodies everywhere. And this place still has a pretty high crime rate dead end. So let's see, that I say yikes. That's something else I can fix, so. Another one. Yeah, everyone's happy. Maybe our city will stop shrinking if everyone's actually happy. 
So dead end could use police force. What is this? That's not even on the grid. That's an unused fire station. Well, that could explain a lot of our fire problems. Wow, I can't afford the relocation cost. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, 12000 to relocate this. That's pretty pricey. But it definitely would explain why I don't have a lot of fire services. It's not on any road at all. Yeah, it's missing off of roads. Okay, so that's donezo. People are unhappy here now because I've removed the fire station from an unuseful place. A place that lacked usefulness to a place that's now useful. And destroying these buildings, these abandoned buildings, increases local property value. Increases desirability to live in these locations. Of course, uh, the fact that they're abandoned kind of tells you there probably were reasons why it was undesirable to live there in the first place. It's kind of like Detroit. Like when I went to Detroit, that was kind of that was terrifying, just because of how many abandoned buildings that were in Detroit. Like uh, I. I I don't know how, how many it was, but it was a lot of abandoned buildings. Probably 75% of the city was abandoned buildings. And that's just terrifying. And it's just the idea of why they're abandoned. I mean, like, is the whole city just like covered in uh, bed bugs or uh, it's ants? A huge ant infestation that's terrifying to me. Maybe it's a tarantula. Or other things like high crime murder and, you know, suicide, infant side, homicide kind of thing. Well, I think I got rid of... Uh, nope, still a few more. Not a lot of designs. I'm soon considering, but only in the consideration phase, of uh, adding mods to the game to make this into a different city completely. But I'm only in the infancy of, uh, of that particular decision. Uh, so, yeah, people have so long to pick up dead bodies and pick up garbage. If dead bodies and garbage, which for whatever reason are the exact same category, uh, if they're not picked up in time, then that can become a very, very large problem for people. So they'll move out. So this part of Tokyo Town is pretty vulnerable to garbage. Uh, so what I will do is build an incinerator in an area that will be easier for them. So I might have to dezone some of this stuff. See where I can place the incinerator to. Okay, here looks like the best spot for the incinerator. And yes, it does mean I have to dezone some of this stuff. So um, let's see, we'll dezone. this area here probably. I mean, do I need to? Necessary? Actually, yeah, it definitely was, because these turn brown. It's dark brown in value. It seems like I put the incinerator there. So yeah, those areas definitely need to get um, geats out. And then we'll have a, an incinerator just for this area here. Now, dead bodies everywhere. That's a huge problem. In fact, this little uh, uh, subdivision here actually did not have any access to garbage being picked up. It had no access to... Um, well, I guess I need to put this cheapy cemetery here. It's covering a smaller area. It's open land that I'm not going to be using for anything. Why not? It kind of just makes sense. Now, where else do we have dead bodies everywhere? I mean, dead end actually looks pretty good right now. Ooh, here's one. Industrial Way. That place has all sorts of dead bodies everywhere. Now, I already have my cemetery here. Keep in mind, I'm really only using the cemetery so I can get that bonus. And crime. Crime and death. So that's two distinct problems. Um, okay. Let's put a small police station here. And 
now I just have to save up for another crematorium. Crematorium. Sounds like a like a song from Metallica. Now I'm assuming all the death is related to the crime, so maybe once I get the crime out of control, the death will also get it under control. It's a fuck, it's a hope. It's more of a hope than a real fuck, though. And... I still have a population that's basically shrinking right now. Look how long it's taking. I have one, two, three places here. And there's two dead bodies that need to be carted. Four dead bodies that need to be carted out right now. None of them are really working right now. And that's because they're going to, usually probably often going to other parts of the city to do the job. So let's get another crematorium down. Okay, there we go, crematorium. Okay, so suddenly I have another high demand for industrial spaces. Interesting, because none of these have enough buyers. That is fascinating. Uh, so, what do I want to do to make my industry? I might make this an industrial area, this little itty bit here, and then I can kind of link it into uh, directly across the bridge here as well to uh, act as a garbage disposal neighborhood. And there's just skulls everywhere here. So much death, so much death, making this place very unlivable. Uh, so. I need to develop a very, very small industrial zone. I think I'll maybe make this a farm, actually. Can I make this a farm? I should question that first, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, I can make this a farm, or I can make this uh, a mining. Maybe mining. Mining sounds great. So we will have road across here. This is going to be a tiny, tiny, tiny industrial zone. Uh, so I don't need too many road connections here. You know, we'll keep it simple. So I can probably link up over this way. And then... I can have... Bendy Road. We can get it. Yes, it goes straight in. Awesome. And then this one page up, make it go higher. Invalid shit. That is true. Okay, that was simple enough. And we'll make a pretty simple industrial zone. I'm going to do another three. Oops, I don't need Kirby Roads anymore. Do another three here. And I'm actually going to create a bridge across here. And this will allow um, me to eventually move this uh, incinerator over to this industrial side of things and then repurpose that area for residential demand. Which, fair enough, I haven't quite done to the fullest extent just yet. Now, I need to get a 2 down here. And some lovely, lovely, lovely... Oops, not... ones across to form a bit of a... Uh, an M pattern, or a W pattern, or a, a comb, maybe some teeth. Excellent. And selection tool. Go. I don't have any water here yet, so let's get that across. Now where do I have any power here? Also, have to get some power across. Now, 
How much is it going to cost me to move this one? 6,000, that's not bad. And now I can repurpose this. So, since I need so many industrial, I can also do uh, an office space over here. Why not an office space? It doesn't have to be residential. There's not a high demand for residential right now. But there is a high demand for residential spaces. And it also means I can shade back in that area. And that's looking good. And industry's building up right away. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't zone this yet. These guys can be very upset when I zone this as a, uh, a minerals area. So it's not going to be a terribly big industrial zone. Like, I built some pretty bastard sized industrial zones. This one's going to be very tiny. Okay. So this one's going to be minerals. And we've had we've had Copper Town. Uh, this one will in fact be uh, Steel Central. And now slowly our demand for industrial spaces goes down once again because I built up this nice little neighborhood here with lots of cool office spaces. And whatnot, and for once, actually, I have uh, residential demand going back up. Population's not crazily expanding just yet. Uh, still, like this whole area is dead bodies, dead bodies, dead bodies. So I have one, two, three areas that still need uh, crematoriums, and, and down here, whoa, should probably get this before this gets too crazy. Or I can probably just put a graveyard here, because this is gonna be a Big bastard size residential zone. This is going to be um, my biggest. Yeah, this will be my biggest residential uh, uh, subdivision that I've ever built. So keep that in mind. It's going to be quite large. Now, this one still has a lot of death. One, two, three, four, five. And some of them have been rotting and festering for a while. Yeah, that's nasty. Here's a little shortcut. We'll get rid of the buildings that have dead bodies in them. And hope that our demand will keep up. And uh, this one is another place where demand hasn't quite kept up. One, two, three, four here. And this is, yeah, it's once again a lot of death. Uh, they're not picking up the dead bodies. They're barely picking up the garbage here. I wonder, I wonder, to fix the garbage problem. Can I get over this? No, I can get over this. Maybe I'll just create a little uh, garbage island here. I mean, that little garbage thing I created solved dump bills problems. Still, we have problems in an industrial way, so maybe I could have a few incinerators there, but I still have the dead bodies problem. That's like the biggest issue of our time. Dead bodies and garbage. If you, don't, if you can't get rid of your dead bodies and garbage, you can't expand. Clear up the dead body backlog. Apparently, someone died in that commercial building. It's a horrible way to die. A lot of people using this service road as their personal way to work or whatever. Look at this. People actually using the service road. Crazy. I hope this doesn't become too popular of a road because otherwise, I'll have to uh, expand it, make it into a bigger freeway, of course. What's the speed limit on service roads, I wonder? 30. This one's 40, isn't it? And this is a 50. 60. Actually, 
be a lot of people using this. That's scary. Huh. I'm kind of having a thought here for infrastructure. What I could do is make this into a one-way road. A one-way overpass. And then have... Oh, that's just silly. I was thinking maybe curve it this way and have this turn into a one-way that goes back. I don't know. It doesn't It's not a crazy amount of traffic. But I do have a, a, a definitely a huge amount of dead bodies here. Liberty Town, no dead bodies. Why? Because justice never dies. Or something along those lines. Poor Steel City. The steel works, the steel works. They're all the steel works, aren't they? Okay, so we have other product, uh, other th products being uh, built. Uh, yeah, I think I've mentioned this before. Uh, the place where I grew up has the largest zinc mine in the world, it has the largest iron mine in the world, and it has the largest copper mine in the world, in terms of like, you know, natural deposits and whatnot. So, kind of crazy how much, uh, you know, dead, dead bodies are in this game right now. Now, let's see if I can expand a little bit again. So what I'm going to do for the pattern here is I'm going to have teeth, 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 and teeth, teeth, teeth. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to uh, build a road across here and I'm going to have little ones. So creating tiny, teeny, tiny subdivisions all over the place. And then same thing here. This is my plan, Stan. Okay, you can probably put a few parks in here. Maybe one of these things. Just increase some of these property values. Right a little bit. Since some of these seem to be brown. Crisp brown! And I will be placing office spaces in here eventually. Because I don't need it all to be industrial. But uh, not quite yet. Now, problems in the city. Um, okay, well we have some abandoned buildings, we have some, those are abandoned industrial buildings. Death collection is our biggest issue. This is the biggest thing that strikes this city. I kind of wish I could set like, um, I don't know how you'd say it, um, areas of operation for, you know, the people who are collecting dead bodies. Actually, I don't really need to worry about them unless they're red. Red means they're stanky. They've been there for a while. Why is this brown? The brown building there. That looks like our, our collection's doing fine now. Uh, cops. How is our crime rates doing? We have a 6% crime rate. One of the lowest crime rates in the world. The whole world. But that's not to say we can't do better. These little mini police departments can do something. So I'll put a mini one here and that'll make everyone happy. Yay, let's move out of our parents' basement. That's how happy we are. I have to zoom in a little bit to see if there's any places where crimes are happening. Of course, by Farmville. They never attack the businesses. It's always kind of weird. Nope, no crimes here. No crimes there. 
Oops, I didn't give these people water. Water should be a basic human right. Why should Nestle be selling it? People say. God, even this area here, which has access to the thing, has on uh, captured garbage here. Well, yeah, this is how you expand your city, is by uh, providing services. Now, mine's shrinking uh, because I've been ignoring the services for so long. And now it's finally all catching up to me. Okay, well, I'm going to try and yeah focus on just the basics, garbage collection and dead body procurement. So, I mean, maybe if I build one here and then dezone a few places, I can't see how this could be a bad place. Or for like right here, I could put one like right here and just have a road come out to it. But for uh, a lot of these really industrialized areas, I just don't have spaces for it. I mean, currently I'm incinerating three times as much garbage as I potentially could get. Whoa, our power is shrinking kind of a little bit. That's terrifying. And our water is actually fine. Okay, that's not as terrifying. But money is slow and steady. Her population's kind of like just bouncing, bouncing between like growth and shrinking right now. 63,000 is the cap that uh, my city has given the number of services that I have. So we're going to rezone. We're not going to, we're not going to completely get rid of these. We're going to rezone these few areas. We're going to rezone them into uh, office spaces. So who wouldn't want to have an office space next to an incinerator? I know I would. So the other one is going to be right here. Maybe a dirt road. Get it to the middle of nowhere again. And I can put garbage there. Who doesn't want this? And this little area will most definitely service the area that I'm intending it to. Oop, I should actually loop in this dirt road over here. Two bird stones, if you will. Residential demand goes up again. Population does not. That's sad. Luckily, people are developing this new zone here, and uh, hopefully they move in. This should be a pretty uh, congested area. I'm actually going to have to build a, a second highway access overpass for a lot of these other areas, this area here, because it will just get insane how much traffic will come through here. Uh, so what was I doing? I had a wonky idea. And I just want to make it so that it doesn't touch anything. You can't devalue things. Nobody wants to build places and places that suck. And sure, if people want to drive down this dirt road to get to work, that's fine too. And this is botanical gardens, a pretty troubled area. I might build one over here for them and just kind of make a a road. Just trying to make things more accessible. This place isn't perfect by any means because this area is still not good. Uh, but adding in more incinerators will help. I mean, it's kind of sad. You actually have to add in more incinerators than your capacity. And that's just because um, of traffic, basically. It's all because of traffic. Okay. 
Ooh, I don't actually have power for this guy. Let's get him some lone, lone wolf power. Now... Oh good, they do have power. Okay, um... That's good, looks like population is beginning to grow again. This is a lot of work for what I'm getting out of it. So, now I need to build a dirt road that will lead into here. Hopefully this will work. Um. Oh, you can't build roads up like that. Right, because why would you be able to make an elevated dirt road? That is, yeah, that is actually kind of dumb. Now that I think about it. Slope too steep. Okay, so we'll connect in a funny way through a back door. Lose a little bit of space, but not a ton. And this is where we'll be putting the uh, garbage, which will be servicing a fairly high uh, density botanical district. The city's starting to look even crazier. And demand continues to go up, thankfully, as I'm adding more services. More people are moving in, increasing my tax revenues even further. It's all these little problems that I have to resolve. I'm going to need another incinerator over here to cover for these areas here that are just not getting up garbage disposals. Tokyo Town's looking pretty nasty, too. Actually, really nasty. Even nastier than the area that I'm trying to build over here. Uh, geez, this takes a while to raise monies. All I really want to do is hit my monuments. But yeah, monuments are not too crazy. Uh, you have your uh, tiers of monuments here, tiers 1 through 6. And each one you hover over and it'll say like, you know, this is a requirement of the Eden Project. And this is a requirement of the space elevator. This is a requirement of the medical center. And each tier has one that's a requirement for a certain project. Obviously, in the first spot, every single time, it's going to be the Eden Project. And uh, every single one has a goal for, for unlocking things. So this one says, construct all uh, city service buildings. So it says 30, which is not that hard to do, actually. And this one says, uh, oh, that one's already completed. So that one doesn't say anything. This one will say... Uh, 20,000 square foot of commercial zone built. I currently only have 4,081 square foot, so that one's going to take a while. Colossal order offices. And, uh, you know, these things have upkeep and cost, but it doesn't say exactly that. But, yeah, that's for monuments, which is a neat concept for the end game. Eventually, we'll be hitting that, but, uh, yeah, I haven't really. No, otherwise. Oh, by the way, uh, service is getting really good right now. We're at a plus 152. Um, that looks like it'll be the peak for now. So I need to get another incinerator out. And like I said, I'm trying to phase out the garbage dumps. Just because... They take up a lot of space. Uh, they just store garbage, they don't get rid of it. You know, I've had nothing but problems with garbage dumps, so... I got rid of the garbage dump there. I have, I think, just, I think this is my last garbage dump. 19% full, I think that's my last one. Oh, never mind, there's still one more over here. And it's emptying, still 48% empty. That could take a while, just because of the neighborhood that it's in. It's in a pretty nasty little neighborhood. And, uh, yeah, I don't think it's particularly likely that that one will be fixed. Uh, so where was I placing my next one at? Um, so all the garbage has to be collected. Uh, I think it was here, Copper Town, just so that I can uh, give Liberty Town a little more uh, garbage collection because they have uh, a very very quickly expanding neighborhood down there and I don't want to uh, have them worry about pollutions or anything along those lines that can be all done in Coppertown 
which actually, now that I look at it, doesn't actually have that much in terms of garbage collecting capabilities. It has one incinerator and a garbage dump that will be emptying and destroyed soon. So, I mean, the sooner I do this, obviously, the better. Okay, one more day and I should be able to build this. I went to Tim Hortons the other day and the woman serving my coffee, she didn't say have a nice day. She said have a day. Yeah, have a day. I thought that was kind of funny. It's like, you know, who wishes people to have a day? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe that's, not, maybe that's not funny to anyone else at all but me. But that was, to me, that was hilarious. Have a day. Yeah. Have a day. Just poor English overall. Alright, 6900. Built! And we can expand this a little bit. Uh, we have a high demand for residential. Well, not high. We have a small demand for residential and a small demand for commercial properties. Actually, still crazy. And an ever so small demand for other things. Now, one thing I can do over here, because I have a train here, I can actually link this in uh, to the train. Now, the train currently doesn't link up with any other residential area, I don't think. All it links up with is these uh, industrial zones, and that's cargo trains only. So that will be uh, not crazily worthwhile, but it's still something that I can do for future planning. I mean, eventually people will take the train halfway across the city, I guess. I don't have the most terribly uh, great public transit just yet. And I might do my whole next video focusing entirely on my public transit. How does cost go as far as things are? I don't use a lot of these. Parks and Recreation sounds like it should be good. I, it would mean I have to use less parks for more. Just bad, but increase the decoration budget by 20%. I might get that. I think that's good. And then what I'll do is... Okay. It doesn't actually matter for industrial zones because I don't put decoration there anyway. Right. And by doing that, it actually heavily increases my demand for residential spaces. That, so that worked out really, really well. Okay, so I'm going to put a res... This is going to be a really wonky neighborhood because it's not white square as in perfect so I can only put a little bit in here and I use a paint tool so I'll paint up a few major commercial areas since seemingly that's all the rager right now and we'll have an office space here office space here and we'll have ourselves a Big greener. So now that train. Yeah, my, my public transit's not particularly great just yet. I only have one subway route. I'm going to change that probably next video to include many. I'll be building tunnels across and zigzagging for faster routes and more routes. Uh, oh no, the police station's on fire. Maybe another one into here. Expansion to Liberty Town. Expansion to the Steel Center. And expansion into here. I'll be having expansions all over the place. Um, but for now, I'll just be leaving with this thing. A single train center. Uh, no, actually, I probably will just leave now, actually. I'm looking at how much time it's going to take to just kind of fundraise that kind of cash uh, to get that. And uh, that's going to take a while. So I think I'll just leave it here. Uh, my population has stabilized and is now growing. And uh, with Liberty Town, I should be able to easily hit 80k, especially considering that I now have included Parks and Recreation bonus, which is uh, increasing my demand all over, everywhere, for more residential spaces. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trollmaker. Thank you guys for joining me for some more Cities Skylines, and I'll see you guys next time.